for, for whatever reason, one day I got a, a creative burst of energy. <laughs> you know, this creates soil of, of a fineness that I'm perfectly satisfied with. There you go. This beautiful, nice black stuff. All right. Can't find anything that good. Hey, it's Greg here with MaritimeGardening.com and I'm out here in the garden and I'm out to plant some uh, spinach and lettuce in this bed. And the soil here is uh, quite coarse for reasons I don't want to get into. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to screen some soil. Uh, this is a weird, an odd sort of thing where, uh, you know, uh, people seem to think they need to buy soil for planting or you have to get it from some other place. Um, you know, the amount of soil you need for, you know, screen soil is just really fine particles of soil uh, that you use to plant your seeds, right? You can take it right from the bed you're about to plant in, right? It's got a little low budget little thing here. And you just toss out the big stuff. This is a thing I made for, for whatever reason, one day I got a, a creative burst of energy. <laughs> and I made this thing out of just some one by three and some sticks, but I've had it for a number of years and it works great. I just, uh, I stained it so it wouldn't go bad and I keep it indoors in the winter, that sort of thing, but it's outside all summer long. It has, you know, the, the slats are uh, not the smallest. A lot of the ones they sell in the stores, I find the slats are so small, you're shaking the thing forever. To get the soil through it, right? Now this keeps out the stuff this size, right? You can see the slot's about half an inch wide and about an inch and a half long, give or take, right? Centimeter by four centimeters, okay? For me, this is, you know, this creates soil of, of a fineness that I'm perfectly satisfied with. I think this is about enough for the planting I'm going to do in this bed, right? It doesn't take long at all. All right, so now I've got that screened. Got this uh, beautiful, beautiful, nice stuff, right? I think you can see me there, yeah. Just beautiful, nice black stuff, all right? Can't buy anything that good. All right now, all I gotta do is uh, smooth the road a bit. Got a bit of rough stuff here I can put down in the hole. There's a couple of chunks. I, I brought in soil from a different part of the garden, place where I'm digging a trench, and threw it on top of here. And that soil's got a lot of clay and a lot of lumps and a lot of rocks and stuff in it. So it's made this soil quite coarse as a result. Just gonna pad that back in. But I mean, it's almost like it's almost like I didn't take any of that, right? All right, so that's all you gotta do to keep a, a steady supply of, of screen soil for sowing seeds and that sort of thing, if you use it for that. Uh, I like to, I like to have good, fine screen soil for when I make a little furrow, sow seeds, put down a little bit of that. Usually it looks a bit different than the existing soil in the garden. You saw with that, I dug down deep into the here because in this particular bed, the, the new soil's light in color, but the soil that was there before is uh, relatively dark. I don't know if you can tell the difference if I throw a handful of it on here, but it's, it's a shade darker. Um, anyway, so now I've got what I need uh, to plant my seeds, right? And uh, I can get on with it. Doesn't take long to do. You don't have to spend a lot of money. There's, you know, garden stores that sell things like this. You can buy these for 20, 30 bucks sort of thing. Or you can just make one and have it look really, uh, you know, medieval. <laughs> if you do need screen soil for planting, uh, no need to buy it. <laughs> just get yourself something like this. You can buy these at garden centers. I think uh, Bessie Seeds sells something, something like this made of plastic for about 20 bucks or so. And I think it's got a different, it's got a number of different screens you can put in for variety. Or you can just slap something cheap like this together, right? Little crafty thing to do. Uh, 
I actually prefer, yeah, as I said earlier, I prefer the bigger slats. You don't get as fine stuff, but it's, it's just so much, it's so much quicker, <laughs> right? So many of the, the, the products that are sold, the screen is so fine, you're doing this forever, right? With this, you do it real quick. And sure, it's not the finest ever, but it totally works. So uh, uh, anyway, that's how you get green screen. That's a way to get screen soil. Just dig it out of the bed you're gonna be planting in. It's right there anyway, right? And then smooth her out after you're done. Hope you found it interesting. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. And until next time, get out there, get at it. Have fun in your garden. Thanks for watching. Hey folks, guess what? I've started a newsletter at maritimegardening.substack.com. I'll be putting out one article a week. That's 52 articles a year. The articles expand the ideas that I mention on my videos and podcasts. And every article has a read aloud option. So you can just listen to me read it if you're busy doing something else. You can subscribe for $30 a year or try it for five bucks a month and see what you think. It's a great way to help support everything I'm doing here. But hey, there's also free content too. So if you just want to read the free stuff, that's fine too. As always, get out there, get at it, have fun in your garden.